Got Chief Meteorologist Alan Holt here, and Alan, you know, in terms of your ability to, and your team's ability to be able to predict uh, down the road any kind of extreme weather, this has to have some kind of impact, yeah, right? Yeah, there are things that I'm going to pay close attention to. I think a lot depends on how deep the cuts go, which I'm not privy to that info. But for example, you heard them talking about the data collection. A lot of that happens with NOAA and the National Weather Service. Uh, the radar that we use every single day, you see mm -hmm. it out there by the airport. Who do you think maintains that? Yeah. The National Weather Service, NOAA, right? Satellites that are up there. So there's a lot of different tools that we all use. And I think one of the biggest things that I would not want to see happen is uh, data collection with data that goes into the forecast models and then the models themselves how do those perform are they going to still get upgraded is attention going to be paid to those so wow. there's a lot of dominoes that could fall again that all depends on the cuts that happen but um you know the forecast models that's that's those are our basically our yeah. eyes in forecasting when hurricane season comes around. So a lot to keep uh, an eye on there. Yeah, yeah we'll see how that hear how it trickles down. It's mm -hmm. they, the, the, crazy. Noah does a lot, yeah. Yeah. a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, so hopefully, uh, it's it's gonna stop happening. The cuts with them. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know how that's all gonna play out, but. Right now, we still have all the tools, and we're using some of those tools to expect the fog that will be developing uh, tomorrow morning. When it's